Yo, what's up? We are back with some more Melty Blood news. It's been a while, but we have finally got some more news about the future of this title. So we have got things from Season Pass DLC finally being announced. We have Balance Patch stuff to talk about, and we even got Netcode fixes to talk about. So let's go ahead and start talking about everything that you need to know about the future of Melty Blood type Lumina. But as always, before we begin, hit the like and subscribe button for more content. If you like everything I've been putting out as far as gameplay videos, tips and tricks, guides and news updates for guilty gear strife and melty blood type lumen as well so support your boy hit the subscribe button and turn notifications on so you know next video goes live so starting off with the online net code rollback fixes to melty blood type lumina if you haven't been following kamoni on twitter you should be doing so this is of course the director for the game so he's the fighting game battle director battle designer says so director of french bread and they are trying to figure out the problem that the game is having now if you seen my previous video of me talking about the net code we've been talking about the one-sided rollbacks of the game or there's just being a difference in the time sync and that's why people tell you don't skip intros so the game can actually sync up so you don't see the one-sided rollback issues now if you don't know what one-sided rollback is by now essentially it looks fine on one player's end but looks like a dragon ball z teleporting match on the other's end and that is what's like making the game like sort of jitter and stuff like that so they are looking at two things they were trying to learn about jitter and they're also trying to learn about the one-sided rollback so there's two different things that they're trying to figure out when it comes to improving the net code of this game so this is one of their tweets right here it says um i am studying one-sided rollbacks in gtbo is their process when every few seconds the players ahead of you goes to sleep i feel that this is a one-sided rollback i'm not sure if this is correct and of course they're just talking with other people and plenty of people are giving their comments help out shout out to zynike actually being there if you don't know zynike is one of the people that helped make the net code for you to your strive which a lot of people have been talking very well upon outside of the lobbies being a complete mess the net code itself is actually very good and zynike is one of the people that helped thrive that so you know him giving advice would probably be very good so uh yeah something to look forward to when it comes to the net code on top of this unlike console or at least ps4 Steam allows the developers to actually give news updates on the platform itself and they actually went ahead and stated some upcoming issues that they're going to try to fix. So it says, we have identified the cause of the rollback synchronization interruption caused by skipping the stages as uh, the start of the match and is currently being fixed. We expect the release of the fix in this update in a few days, so please be patient. So this is the update that's going to be coming to the game in just a few days and hopefully this fixes majority of the issues that we are having. I don't know if a lot of the issues are just on the front end of the first uh beginning of the matches when it comes to like you know the every at the end of every round and at the beginning of the match i don't know if that's the main cause of the issues that are happening but if it is then this could potentially uh drastically change the net code experience that we all have been having thus far and hopefully we just have a better overall experience of course with other changes coming in the future that he's probably trying to look at like the jitter stuff that we were talking about earlier now on top of melty blood type lumina's net code fixes that they've been talking about they also released this huge and i mean huge list of bug fixes for the game as well as some character balance changes that we can expect inside of this version of the game as well so let's go and break down the important ones that you really need to know about so it looks like CL is definitely getting some buffs in the form of some hitbox changes and some moon skill changes. So it says CL's difficult to use moon skills have been adjusted to be more powerful in the neutral game. The CL somersault moon skill has been adjusted to knock the opponent higher in the air, making it easier to land additional hits. So it says her jump A, her midair A, the hitbox from continuous hits detection has been expanded downward. So I'm guessing it's going to be easier to hit with her jump A in form of concession. The moon skill somersault BC, the down BC, uh, opponents are knocked higher in the air when it hits so i guess like they said it's going to be make it easier to land additional hits afterwards and the back bc is going to have reduced landing recovery as well as the mid-air back bc is going to have re uh recovery can now be jump canceled actually for that one so that's actually pretty good and then one of them is just going to be a bug fix where uh this was given a command priority over the aerial special so i'm guessing it was some type of thing where something was happening where you were just getting the other commands but it should be easier to get exactly what you want now gohaku is getting a buff in the form of her witch flight which is going to be her 214 series and it's actually going to have reduced landing recovery they said they wanted to change the frame data to improve it to make combos and successful use easier for this move so not only is it changing the uh, first input but also the additional input also going to have reduced landing recovery on that now he even gohaku actually got some unique changes uh, just because of the things that they do so it says adjustments have been made to hisu and kohaku special sicily bond storm cloud c version for kohaku lead so it no longer loops when used with unavoidable guards so this probably means that you're not going to be able to loop 
the actual unblockable anymore because it actually is going to change like how it actually functions on hit i'm guessing what's going to happen on hit is they're probably just going to fall straight to the floor or something like that maybe it's going to put in like a state where you can't combo the enemy anymore after that to make it to where it's pretty much not a useful thing to go for so you can do it it's still going to be in the game but you don't really get anything off of it it also seems like they're going to be tackling the other thing that people have been finding with the hisui lead where you can actually run through the opponent because it's one of the big uh bug fixes is where contact detection uh continued after a partner attack has been completed uh partner attacks for 214 a b or c so partner attacks are going to be looked at and it's going to change the detection i think it's directly attacking the actual thing where he so he runs through you it looks completely jank but it seems like they're going to be fixing that as well i'm sorry to tell noel fans that you are taking the biggest nerf because the damage voice is going to be slightly lowered and the frequency is also going to be slightly lowered as well so no more high pitch seagull voice as much as before and uh i'm sorry to say that had to be in here this is an important change to the game uh, all of us can be safe as far as our eardrums go vlog also seems like he's going to be getting some slight buffs in the form of his 3c so expanded the hitbox upwards so it's actually going to be able to hit people higher than it did before with his 3c and also there's going to be a reduce in the delay between the necessary time to be able to perform a jc after an air dash so i'm guessing they're reducing the time that is needed and actually to be able to press a button after he air dash it says they wanted to strengthen his guard breaks and aerial counters which I'm guessing is the aerial dash and of course increase the strength for his 3C making it easier to match how it appears. So I guess the hitbox wasn't as high as it actually appeared. Now it's going to make it look like what it actually should look like. Red Arcway also is going to have some nice buffs as well when it comes to her fireball. So the efficiency of Red Arcway's moon skills and specials Weiss has been reviewed. Improvements have been made to the startup and recovery of this quick and movable unique technique to make it easier to use. So the moon skill version is going to have reduced recovery and the regular versions, the A, B, and the blowback X versions of these are going to have faster startup and reduced recovery. The B version also is going to have an expanded search area. So if you use the B version, you know the first hit sort of hits, but the second one sort of sometimes whip, even though it looked like it's connecting with the opponent. So the search area is going to be bigger, I'm guessing, to make it to where that hits a lot more frequently. And the EX special version is also going to have reduced recovery on that as well. Now, if you ask me, Saber is the biggest winner of this patch because she got a lot of changes to here to talk about. They really reviewed this character. Uh, they, I guess they seen those tier lists that was coming out and was like, oh, no, no, no. We can't have this character sounding bad. We got some things to change. So Saber, the general performance of Saber neutral gain has been reviewed. Made improvements to the mid-range efficiency such as strengthening hitboxes and reducing recovery. Let's talk about some of these changes because it's absolutely crazy. Aerial dash midair. Reduce the delay necessary to perform a JC. So she can now perform actions out of her instant air dash a lot quicker now than before. And hers is already one of the ones that are so low to the ground that she can't even overshoot it. So this is going to be very nice for her, making it extremely fast for her to do like JCC or JBB, whatever she want to do and actually get you know a quick overhead after her instant air dash uh standing bb now has reduced recovery her crouching b is now a low attack so if you know that little like low stab what she does with the sword that is now an actual low so she has a 2a low now a 2b low and a 2c low her 2b was a mid now it actually is a low uh, her jump a has expanded hitbox downwards her jump b also has an expanded hitbox her special moves 214b reduce recovery and her for uh 214b um blowback edge also has reduced recovery as well her arc drive avalon it says this move has been given greater command priority over moon drives so i'm guessing it was somehow losing to some moon drives that i didn't know but now apparently it beat those two so it was already beating grabs and everything else in the game why not let it beat the moon drives like it was probably supposed to as well so yeah she's just gonna be beating everything with that the rest of the changes was pretty much just bug fixes but i'll put the links down in the description below so you guys can check out the full list of details here that's going to be happening as well by the way the date for this actual update is going to be going live on the november 12th so november 12th is when you can actually expect this update to actually release and of course the news you all been waiting for the dlc playable characters for melty blood type luna so this is essentially i'm guessing the season pass for the game right here uh now each character is going to come of course with the character itself a character story and a battle stage for us to look forward to uh the prices aren't set right now and this is going to be having starting right now from this winter to spring of next year so that's actually not that too big of a time span for us to actually have to worry about i mean at most they really want to stretch it out 
we could probably be looking at a span of six months if they're like trying to like you know stretch out everything as far as the course of these four characters but this is what we can look forward to they don't have like i said any type of like date or anything no schedule for each character but we just know there's going to be four playable characters uh that we can look forward to at least for the first couple of dlc maybe we'll see more in the future but it says also we're going to be getting free updates in the forms of expanded functions adjustments to the ball uh balance battles and bug fixes as well so not only this not only the stuff that we're going to be getting but also future free updates are going to be expanded functions and stuff like that that we can look forward to expanded functions got me hopeful that sounds like new mechanics or something when i hear about that or just like i don't know just better user experience with the game and how it functions overall so super excited to see what they do with stuff like that of course more balance changes is always nice as well and of course more bug fixes can't hurt as well now of course the best thing when it comes to new characters and brand new stages in this game is going to be of course more soundtrack so of course Raito already put out please look forward to new music so he's already been cooking up some stuff in the lab so i cannot wait to see what my man actually got in store for us when it comes to the new music selections that's going to be coming with this dlc now as far as who the characters actually are your guess is as good as mine when it comes to this now if they're sticking to what they've been saying inside of interviews of wanting characters that have some relevance to the new story the new remake story then this is potentially going to be up just a bunch of playable characters that are going to be completely spoilers to us because we don't have the game in a global sense yet but this is probably where we can start seeing a little bit more of a turnaround and start seeing other characters that have a little bit non-relevance to the story than actual relevance to the story so hopefully we can start seeing some fan favorites here i know a lot of people have been screaming for aoko and some other playable characters and stuff like that so maybe this is where we'll start to see those characters i know the hopium right now is real for some character uh, people i know people got some hopium right now so i uh, hope you guys get the characters you want inside the game uh yeah it's, it's whoever knows man satsuki hey my boy nadia could come who knows also the fact that miyako is inside the game also just gives me a little bit of hope of characters that don't really have a huge relevancy to the story because i don't even think she even appears in the remake someone could correct me if i'm wrong if you actually played it but yeah she has like little to no relevancy as far as how that story actually plays out at all so the fact that this character is inside this game makes it me feel a little bit more hopeful about other characters that have nothing to do with the story actually making inside of this so we'll see how it plays out and that pretty much wraps up everything you need to know as far as things that are going to be coming to melty blood type lumina in the near future but we got everything from balance changes for characters that are going to be coming some are buffs some are going to be slight nerfs to certain things that people have been doing as far as like especially the maids uh our voices are saved of um noel voices and stuff like that of course we also have the new characters and stages to look forward to and of course the online also being fixed as well anyway if you like anything i had to say drop me a like i really appreciate it and if you want more from me follow me on my socials and follow me on twitch if you want to catch me live at forward slash dyke dan also let me know down in the comments below what characters you want to see inside of the melty blood type luna season pass let me know your hopium comments down below definitely want to hear what you guys got to say and like i said i'll put the links in down in the description below so you guys can check out the actual balance changes for yourself if there was any bug fixes or anything that you were looking forward to trying to see as far as that goes also don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so you know the next video goes live as always my name is daikin and i'll see you next time signing out